Hey everybody, fully back for some more Resident Evil as we're working our way through the Resident Evil series. We've moved on to Resident Evil HD. Uh, we are in the middle of Jill's route. We have just returned to the mansion after going out to the guardhouse or the residence or whatever it's called in the remake. Um, we've just come back. Uh, the hunters are now all over the mansion. They've replaced a lot of the zombies. That doesn't mean there aren't still zombies around the place, but it's mostly hunters at this point. Um, and we're gonna try to, well, I'm gonna try to finish it today, tonight, this evening, whatever time it happens to be for you. Um, Resident Evil. This new game. Fuck. Resload game. Anyway, we're gonna try to finish it. We have the second mansion visit to go through, uh, we have the tunnels to go through, and then we have the lab. That should. Yeah, we stream an hour for each. Should do it. Let's see. Okay. What have we got in our box? Get the ink ribbons so they can go. Ink ribbons can be put back in. Debating grenade launcher. How many shells do I have? Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. Probably enough hunters, but. We're also going to pick up a decent amount of shotgun shells, so I might leave the grenade launcher for Yawn and maybe Black Tiger. We'll drop back to the Magnum for Tyrant, but otherwise, that's what we'll do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is collect all gems. Blue gem. Prepared. Thanks, Barry. Blue gem from the dining room, so that's what we're going to go do now. Go into the art gallery, crow hallway. Already solved the puzzles, so the crows will leave us alone. Since this is a puzzle room, zombies don't spawn, or enemies don't spawn, except for the crows. But they're only there uh, to attack you if you mess up a puzzle. And since the puzzle is already solved, they're not going to attack. Unless you deliberately shoot them, I guess, and then they will. But, you know, let's not do that, so everything should be fine. Zombies. Zombies gone. I'm pretty sure the zombies disappear from this room once you trigger Elder Crimson Head. Don't come back. I'm gonna unlock this door. We're not gonna go in, we're just gonna... Out of the helmet key. I don't think I showed this Easter egg. I'm gonna show it now. In the remake, the dog gets in. <laughs> in the original game, it's just cutscene and the dog goes, no, 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 no. Uh, and you close the door again. Uh, and if you decide to open it again, then uh, you just die, actually. The dog gets your throat or something. But in the remake, the dog manages to actually jump through the door. I'd forgotten about that. Anyway, that's that. Right, Blue Jam. We knocked over this statue ages ago, and you're only getting around to picking up this gem now. Have it. Gem. I go get the yellow and red gems now, which requires us to go back upstairs. There are a couple of corridors and rooms that we're gonna try to avoid on the second visit because they're pretty tight. They're pretty tight and have uh, lots of hunters. Yeah, guaranteed death. 
think there's a hunter in this one. They're both gone now. So that yellow caution, not amazing. mentioned this in Chris's playthrough, but some people might have watched Chris's. Um, hunters are deaf. So they rely on line of sight to attack you. But if they don't see you and you don't make any noise, they won't attack you. Two more gems to get as grenade rounds. We might, we might swap over to the grenade launcher. We do have quite a few of them at this point. Knife. Swap our defensive item to the dagger. The battery is a bit better. Battery is a better defensive item, and I would rather hold on to them as long as I can. Okay, so turn off these lights. The eagle has trouble following us. Get him locked into that position, and then scooped. for this room. Oh, something else in here. That was a note. I've read this already. This is telling them uh, to cleanse the mansion and act deliberately let the virus out. Um, it's mostly just saying it's not an accident. The door at the end can be unlocked. So I'm just going to do that. We're not going through it because the corridor is a bit of a death trap right now. Stick with the shotgun because we're about to pick up some more shotgun ammo anyway. Yeah. We're gonna go to the tiger room. Tiger statue room. And use those gems, get the items that are in there. while he was going bleh. No decapitation. 
No decapitation in the remake. It's the big jugular slash. All right, well, we got to do all that again. Maybe this time I'll take you. Forgotten we were on low health. Anyway. Any herbs? I'll just take one with me because they're almost certainly. way up behind us as well. I suppose we don't have to deal with the dog. It's time you've seen the Easter egg, I don't need to. Even an Easter egg is just a optional scene, I guess. Sometimes it takes three shots. Drop back in here, pick up the dagger, the grenade shells.
the three gems. Get everything in this room as well. And switch back on. Don't know why. Does this feel like it? Keep the room as I found it. For all the shit I just stole. We could experiment here and just figure out what the grenade launcher does to hunters, and if it's like one shell and they're done, probably go to it. The shotgun for zombies. aspect of grenade rounds is that you can just throw all of your ammo into the gun. And we're gonna save here just in case I get decapitated again. <laughs> Sure, if it's beneficial to actually wait here and kill the hunter, or if I should just run past him. Pretty sure we come back to this. Just to get rid of him. Uh, it's not instant. Blue gem, I think, is just ammo. Black on shells. saw in Chris's playthrough what happens if you put the red gem in here. Uh, the tiger does not like it and spawns a bunch of snakes. So let's not do that again. Okay, ammo disc is the first item we need. Good ending. I'm trying to think what is the We want to head to the main hall now. Let's wait for this. I'm going to swing by the same room again. Swap in the shotgun because the grenade launcher isn't a huge improvement. The shotgun for the hunters, at least, it will be for the boss because you can keep some range. The shotgun obviously does considerably more damage the closer you are to the enemy, which is why it's 
But for regular enemies, because they get pretty close to you. But for bosses, you're going to want to keep your distance. disc we don't need for ages. Won't need until the end of the game. Effectively. Here, red jam we're gonna keep. Swap this heal out for the smaller heal that I saw. Oh. Got to actually take out the shotgun shells. I think I put the ones in my inventory into the box instead of the other way around. Shotgun shells. Okay, so we're gonna keep the red gem. Oh yeah, we're going to get the jewelry box. The jewelry box is in the room at the bottom of the main hall stairs, the door I opened. The door I plan to just unlock and then move on, but I accidentally went into it. To run. Okay, that door. In there. So Jill had the battery pack on her waist. We should have the dagger. Battery packs are obviously good because they tend to kill everything. Like, effectively. The same as Chris's flash grenade. It tends to kill anything you put it on. Sometimes you want to, like, deliberately get caught <laughs> so you can do that. Just shortcut that enemy. I think some of the, the no damage and the, the speedrun strats and stuff like that are all... Well, not all of them, but I think they do employ that kind of strategy of just... Deliberately get caught. Handwritten, nothing's changed. Oh, this is Trevor. Right here. Pink ribbons. Punish them. This room. If we had decided to do a new game again as Chris with clear data, we would come in here to um, get the special costumes and stuff. But we're not doing that. Just gotta decap on him. Not that it matters. We're not coming back here. Herb. Jewelry box. Solve the jewelry box while we're here. Solve this puzzle. Took me too long last time. think you need to rotate. I'm sure you can rotate. Fix that. <laughs> I think this one.
brooch inside. Not a brooch at all, though. Unusual. It fucking is. Button. Press the button. Change it to a key. The emblem key. He's designed with an emblem of the Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. We're done in this room. Okay, we're gonna go do the emblem key room. Straightforward to get to, and no, no zombies or hunters on the way. Make use of Crow Gallery again. Great, this is a great shortcut. I don't think you can make use of on harder difficulty. I don't think the door gets repaired on hard on harder difficulty. Less of a reason to use this shortcut. Or at least if you're gonna do it, make the most of it. When we're playing as Chris, um, here is when you would have to go rescue Rebecca from the hunter. Walk into this. Not this far. As soon as you walk into this room. Switch. Metal object. Key item we came in here to get. Everything. Worthless. Scientific books. All of them are biology. Homes, it's on everything. It's the state crap. Something's still in here. Telephone, the cord has been cut. Books, it's just intact. Switch. The safe room. Safe room to deposit a few things. Metal object. Not gonna need. Oil. Uh, ink ribbon. Never really needs to leave the item box. Almost always a typewriter nearby.
We're gonna go fight. Um, Yon. Need anything more than what's in the grenade launcher for Yon? Where are the acid shells? Just in case, we'll take this. We get to yawn. Wanna get all the way up to the third floor? gallery. If you didn't have this shortcut unlocked, you could go upstairs and go through east wing, second floor. Um, these things are, are a few hunters in that hallway, and if we don't have to fight them, I'm not going to. Cleared out the hunters, there's no such thing as Crimson Head hunters, so once they're dead, they're dead. He's the end of this hallway. Or we have already unlocked the end of that to quickly get to the third floor. There is a Crimson Head in this hall, at least one Crimson Head in this hallway, so I need to be. Libraries where we fight are like herbs, I think, before we actually get to them. It's just your hint that he's here. It's me! Snakey boy! Follows you down over the balcony. Like a dick.
Well, that's the end. Last book, volume two. All is, but they've cut out a huge chunk of it. Wolf medallion. And inside the last book, volume two, is there a special way to use it? There sure is. Gonna be a while. Past Lisa Trevor first. I think this door's locked. And I think it's one of those you're not allowed. Backup camera will help me, thank you. It's not marked yet as completely unpassable, but when we come back to it, it will be marked as completely unpassable. Okay, here and then out and then To not get hit by this. No. So, I mean, we can, but or rather, I could just shoot it. I could just use this big gun I'm carrying. I suppose I could do that. The last thing we need to do now is get the Eagle Medal. Need to get the eagle medal and the battery for our next two items to pick up. I don't know if there's a hunter downstairs, and if there was, I would go get the hunter. Predictable. Crimson Head can go in all sorts of directions. He also doesn't know I need to solve problems. Run, does he find me? He was waiting. <laughs> he was waiting, he almost got me. save room anyway and stash the wolf medal because we don't need it. We don't need it just yet and I'm gonna go back to the shotgun. to the other save room, opposite side of the mansion. One area left to do. It's the area that has the elevator in it. Again, I'm kind of avoiding certain hallways and rooms. There's just limit the amount of enemies we need to fight. Past the save room. We don't need to go in. I'm gonna go past and go up the stairs.
already taken out the two hunters that are in this area, so don't worry about them. Been in there already. Up everything in here, this is where we got the second map. It's the end of the helmet key. Sure you'd still be able to push that statue a wedge like that. really didn't expect anybody to find this book. Just fucking threw it in a hole. Alright, there's the Eagle Medal. Not much left now. It's Trevor's Diary, George Trevor's Diary, to say that, oh, they tricked me, and this is where I'm gonna die. Unless, of course, he knew there was a switch. He would know, but anyway, um, arachnophobia warning. Arachnophobia warning over. Just zombies in this room. Uh, if you were waiting, Arachnophobia is over. Yeah, bollocks. That's what I actually want. That's oh, fine, we won't be coming back here. I don't have to worry about not getting a decap on him. Had to come down here because the elevator is off. I'll turn it back on. Now the elevator's working. I think opens us into the kitchen. Correct. I don't want the piece of meat from an unidentified source, I want the knife. This room, let this guy figure out what he's doing. Why? Better. There's a guy on the floor here. Don't have to worry. Don't need a problem. If 
we decide to come back. Side here is Jan's door. Broken. Okay. And now the map will say, yeah, you're not allowed through there at all. In fact. Okay, the other zombies are around. Nice. Let's see. Up here to get the battery. Batteries in here. can unlock the door beside us so we don't have to use the computer again. We have enough to now go back to the garden and head into the tunnels. into the dining room. I head back through Crow Hallway one more time. into the save room and just remove everything we don't need. Save as well. We need the battery and we need the square crank. Away. I'll just hang on to the one green herb. Copper 
ourselves up. Where did I leave the crank? Ink ribbons will save. Remember if there's a hunter in the ball. I don't hear him. I mean, he won't jump in though. The stone and metal object is still in the wall because it opens this door. So can't take it just yet. We'll take it on the back. I forget to grab it. Tell me, because <laughs> it is important. That's this box. Last time they were mean. About Snake Town again. And I'm reasonably certain you can't avoid getting hit. Didn't get poisoned. Fine. I think there is a way to avoid it, but it's one like it's a very narrow corridor you're, you're aiming for, and I've never been able to. You have some dog friends down here. Dog friends here. Doing pardon me, pardon me. did a big circle. What do we do a big circle for? Need to redirect the water. Waterfall back in the lower level is now gone, but also the path to get there is now gone. That's why we needed to power up the elevator. Now we don't need to use the walkway that has all the snakes on it. And we can go the other way and get eaten by dogs. Just so angry, you prick! Stuck on the corner, and he managed to have enough time to hit me. Right, another boy here. Two boys, actually, I think. Hopefully, they have trouble getting through this narrow corridor. my health. 
Still in fine, so I don't need to heal. Crank can go. You actually don't need that crank ever again. But unlike the keys and stuff, since there's you could still potentially go back to that um, water drawbridge thing and use it again, so they don't tell you, hey, you can discard this now if you want. But yeah, we don't need it. Ever again. looking at like a, a route document guide exactly to says this room then this room then this room to take anything I don't think so So the tunnels are kind of linear. Have to go in this direction because we're not able to pass the other direction. Gas boulder. Speaking, we don't need to take it. Even there. The thing we need uh, to replace it with, we have to come back to the exact same location to use it, so... Handgun ammo. Here. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? <laughs> yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No, I'm not seeing anybody. But why? And I've been of a dry spell. The stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella shut us up. Blah. Enrico! Point in wearing body armor if you can just get shot. Traitor? Who? Come on, Jill. You have at least one suspect. Barry's been acting really weird. Right. Whoever did this is definitely a professional. One shot. You pew? Oh, just pew? He's holding something. Another crank! He just put away a crank. What's so good about this one? This end is shaped like a hexagon. Not square, it's hexagon. Hey, buddy. See ya, buddy. Oh, 
Hunter. Two. There's an item. Let's see it. So no, no flamethrower for Jill. Debating on whether to take a bigger heal than what I have, but we should be. Boulder. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> I just got stuck on the wall a little bit. It's fucking Indiana Jones bullshit. Pretty sure this is the Black Tiger room. Um, despite the name, it's a spider. So, uh, arachnophobia. Thing. For anyone who suffers, try to make this fight fast. here before the babies. Right back around to make sure everyone is despawned. Warning's not off yet. Okay, they've despawned. Uh, still a lot of 
fight retype thing. Dies away for now. Stash the grenade launcher and take out the shotgun again. Save since we just beat the boss. We've also got another instant death thing coming. Rather not have to do all of that again. So I am going to have to dip into the spider room again. There aren't any spiders in it, but there is like, the spider nest. Very quickly, Ractophobia warning, if even there are webs and stuff, it's an issue for you. Not even there are webs, sure, that's a problem, it's still signs of spiders and what have you. Anyway, we're out. here just in See, there's a gap in the roof now. We want that gap on the left. That's why we have to do this a few times.
need to turn this statue around because it's facing the wrong way. Isn't that... There's no way they fixed that bug, so I must just be hitting it in a weird angle. Maybe it only ever happened in the first game? Or the original game, rather? The bug I'm talking about is if you push this statue... Not even a bug, really. Push this statue, and I think in the first game, um, the interaction between the character and the rotating place took precedence. So it would break your pushing of the statue and instead rotate your character. It doesn't happen in the remake. I get it probably has like you are currently engaged in pushing something, so it doesn't quite short cut you out of that. Okay, so we got the cylinder or whatever that thing. Um, but we need to power up the big elevator. Go down and do that. Gives you a space for it. And one more trip into the spider room. Warning, those. sure we don't need the hex crank anymore. Not that sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang on to it. I don't I act I don't think we need it. Actually I'm gonna open, uh, open you first because otherwise I'm gonna be like what what's in that? Remember, I interacted with this console before. Um, it was like a, a gold or yellow thing in here. Um, the reason I didn't take it with us is because I have to come back with it here anyway. Okay, so there is a thing here that tells you the solution. Um, just keep rotating it and eventually get the answer up, but it takes a million years to fucking rotate the whole thing. And we have our answer, so it's four, two, three, one. You're safe. Harry, how the fuck do you get down you too, here? Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but 
I didn't expect to find a place like this. What kind of noise? Was it the boulder? Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? Or was it There's you shooting Enrico? I'm not sure if I already shot Enrico. Wesker who shoots Enrico and Chris is Roos. And it sure looked like it was uh, Wesker this time. But I don't know. What the hell is that sound? Lisa. A person. I'll see you, Barry. Jill, go check it out. You go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. Besides that fucking I'll gun. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Jill, you are far too trusting. stash anything. Find what I have. I don't think there's anything in this room. You're very sure you're not gonna double cross me? I'll stay and secure our escape route. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Likely st a likely story. in Lisa Town. She is. Oh yeah, there's a trick to the Lisa section there. It's basically when you see her go the other way. It's a... the room's a circle. So, if you see her on one side, just go the other way. <laughs> Treats. You. You. Leave the other thing there. I'm gonna ammo. I assume the handgun is left there because, like, it is possible to not get the shotgun, and it is possible to not get the grenade launcher and so on. Or the magnum, for that matter. Whereas, you're gonna have the pistol? Like, you start with it, there's no way to not have it. You can't discard it or anything. At least with Chris, I think it's possible to actually have no weapons whatsoever, but you obviously would not have gotten this far. Well, I don't know, maybe that's not true. People do do knife-only runs in this game. It is entirely possible. Okay, so same deal again. We want to spawn Lisa in one side and then go the other way. Why is there no console on this floor that lets you recall the elevator? Seems like a problem. For whatever reason, there isn't. Okay, so there's probably something important in this big crate, so... Obviously, the natural thing to do 
wouldn't be to just pry it open somehow. I mean, we do have knives. We could we could make it work. No, we'll just crush it instead. Great plan. Sure that item would have been very useful if it was still whole. Okay, broken flammon warfer. And use it. But it has its uses. No, it's probably not for what it was intended to be used. in the gun. Like it, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's far more than enough we'll need for the tyrant. I had way more with Chris, though. I suspect um, because of the way the Difficulty selection works in Resident Evil HD. I think I accidentally selected easy for us, which was not my intention. How are we doing, Lisa? Make sure she's following me this direction. Dangerous. Hmm. Time. All right, we should have more than enough time this time. Snakes. A document somewhere. this in Chris's walkthrough, but this is just talking about uh, the Trevor family and what was done to them. George was killed, obviously he was thrown in a pit, die. Jessica was given a infusion of regenerative virus. Did take, and Lisa given one, and it did take. Journal has it's a bit more lucid than the one we found before, but Lisa's deteriorating psyche is quite obvious. And there's a also a clue to the next 
boss fight. What to do? Way to do it without actually having to fight. Potentially, it's the only way to do it. I don't think you can kill these. Things. Some zombies. This is a Before I was so rudely interrupted, this is a slight deviation from the original game. Um, obviously, this section isn't in the original game, but um, in the original game, you would go down into the tunnels and more or less come back the way you came, and you have to go back through the gardens, through the dogs, and so on. This time, they have you do a loop. They come through this area instead. Beside his back, he won't catch you. Stop, stop. Optionally, uh, maybe change the tank controls while you're at it. I never checked to see if my mic was working. It is. Okay, thank god. Because <laughs> I never checked. Third mansion visit is short. Here to pick up two items. Arguably, you could sidestep this whole section. Just combine them at uh, the item box in Lisa's house, which, yeah, probably would have been fine as well. Last trip into Crow Hallway, I won't be going into Crow Hallway again. Say goodbye to the crows. Seeing the crows again. Actually, I don't think we'll be seeing hunters again either. They're not in the lab. 
I'll be seeing a new set of bullshit instead. <laughs> One door in the mansion we haven't gone in yet. Very much is, but okay, game. What's on the other side of this door? Desktop says I am. Check. I think we're good. Okay, we shouldn't need to do anything massive. Difficult in the last since the last save. You have to repeat it, it's not a big deal. The save right after Lisa. Spoilers. <laughs> for, for fighting Lisa. Fighting's a fighting's not really the word. I was dead, huh? Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were. <laughs> Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't explain better. lie to me. Besides that gun. Can Dante's gun down my cry? It's ridiculous. Alright. We potentially have. More pressing matters right now, Barry. Ah! He seems mad. He seems mad. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. Thanks, Jill. I need Barry to keep her busy anyway. when you're ready. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. Barry, you better not betray me a third time. Just 
Oh, wait, she's kind of a dress the third time. <laughs> Fifty fifty. It's the wolf or the eagle one. Okay. You're telling me I was wrong, so I'm gonna assume I got that right. Slide down the stairs and eat shit immediately. Lighter. Need to be sure that we do not come back in some of these areas. Um, and then we're also going to take a quick break. I need, uh, need to pee and I need to get a drink. So I'll be back. Four minutes. Three minutes or so. Okay. Guys, then.
Okay, we're back. So. Knock me. Considering going back to the pistol. targets so he must be dead for a shot. These guys are not super important that I suppose that I are dead, but there are at least three zombies. this angle. I don't know why I got the trophy that time. 
There was a time when there were two zombies overlaid each other and I burned them and it didn't give it. Why I got it that time, but whatever. Won't complain. Well, I'll complain a little bit. <laughs> I guess. Hints or computer set of computer passwords that are about to come up. I don't have space to pick these up, so I'm just going to tell you what the solution is. Solution is cell. You pick up these two x rays, you combine them uh, on the board there, flip a switch, and the switch will highlight various organs, and you take the first letter of each organ. That's the password. I don't have space to pick them up, so I'm not going to bother. First keyboard returns. These are in alphabetical order. His name is John, the password is Ada, this is his girlfriend, it is Ada Wong, referencing. This door, we need the new password. Whatever it is, it's going to be better than one green herb. Should be a mix of red and blue. <laughs> okay, I literally just swapped places with an item. But I'm going to eat it again. I just pick up Magnum Bullets. Uh, goes, back, goes back to the item box or 
Beauty zombie. System passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could do something. Well, wouldn't you know it? to do something in a few minutes that would be best if there were no enemies in the way. I'm gonna go back and stash our kerosene canteen in the lighter. Fill it up again, it's the last of it. sure that's the end of the zombies. Keep one more. I don't think they appear in this dip. Last demo disc. Right, let's just got everything else with right. Sure, that's always the same, so I actually have to go get the slide filter. Completeness, I want. Symbol is imprinted on it. Power. Space, so. Oh, 
think I missed this. Chris. Uh, security protocols. Level 1. Heliport. For executive use only, this restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Placement level 1. Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room. We're in right now. For use by the special research division only, all other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Basement level 3. Prison and sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher. Smith S. Ross A. Wesker must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Placement level 4. Regarding the progress of Tyrant, after the administration of T-Virus, allegedly. Another mention of Wesker. And a mention of Wesker, we get a picture of Wesker. I wonder if Wesker's a bad guy. Going for it just yes. Oh, yeah. Picked up Kenneth's film, we can view it here. They can see the blood and color, and everything else is kind of weird. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. All right. You have the lab key. to walk into the Chimera Zone and
is the no disc thing? Not in here. Is mad. Potentially, I suppose. Okay. Uh, fine, there's a fucking item in there, but whatever, I don't care. Apparently there's an item left in here. Rather deal with as few chimeras as possible. I don't think they stop. Yeah, why can't you both burn? Or not burn, decapitate. Right. Gotta take out the kerosene and then make sure those two are dead. Do that now before I forget. And turns out, yes, they are here on this difficulty. But they were exclusive to hard. zombies not be crimson heads? I think I've heard that before alright actually. I think I think I have heard that before. Zombies don't become crimson.
We got a couple of chimeras still to deal with. So we have one last thing to do to prepare for the night, the nitroglycerin transportation. I come in here and we have one chimera that needs to be oh. Ah, fuck it. Oh. Well, have that instead. Actually doesn't do any damage despite him like putting a hook in you and lifting you off the ground. Actually doesn't hurt. Warning! Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Alright, take the fuel supply capsule. And now we need to put some fuel in the fuel supply capsule. Alright, so you can hear an enemy making noise. He's actually waiting in a vent. He's not actually in the room. Technically that one we shot. When you walk into the room, he's not in the room. He drops down when you turn the corner. But yeah, as long as you don't proceed too far into that room, you won't have to deal with multiple chimera. On the other hand, if you do proceed too far, you are going to have to deal with We're gonna have to do in a second. Gonna be fun. The fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro. Running, in quotes, could result in a fatal explosion. Oh, yeah, don't run. Now, there is a way to do this, like the speedrunning version. Obviously, they're not going to be. I'm not going to fucking walk everywhere. So, the speedrunning version, there are a certain number of steps that you take when running before it blows up. As long as you stay under that number of steps, you can sort of stagger it. You can like run for a couple of steps, walk for a couple of steps, run a couple of steps, walk a couple of steps. I don't know what the timing is, so I'm not even going to bother trying. That's how it works. That's how they do it when they want to go fast. This is why I wanted to make sure every enemy along the way was dead. Zombies in this corridor gone. Zombies in the previous corridor gone. One chimera that would have gotten in the way is gone.
fuel supply and device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. Let the capsule and device. And now we have fuel. Now we can, uh, we can move. Fine. Now we're back to being able to move as fast as we want. Alright, last thing we need to do is the final MO disc and activate the elevator, and then it's Tyrant, and then Tyrant again! Got a couple of Chimera we'll have to deal with along the way. Hey, there he is. Just hanging out in the vent waiting for you. Pretty sure there's another one who drops down here when we come out as well. There he is. That's the last one of the MO discs. I hate the boiler room areas, it's just chimeras all the time constantly. Not even clear if it's the same one every time. Or just the two that you haven't killed that just keep coming in and out? I don't know. Elevator's working now. We can stash the shotgun. Watch for the rest of the game. Shoddy can go. I can this place. Ammo for the shotgun shell. They're actually that great against Tyrant. Okay, on the off chance that I somehow run out of Magnum ammo. Like the grenade launcher. Somehow I don't think that's gonna happen. Mince in the every shells while we're at it. And take some heals. Don't wanna take we wanna leave at least one spot free. So pick up of items.
Jill. Barry. Barry. You have at least waited up for you, no? Barry, you're a traitor. Why would I wait for you? So, Barry, you gonna betray me again, or...? Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? <laughs> oh, don't blame Barry for everything. Why not? I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> you're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground. <laughs> There's already there. a gun pointed at me, Wesker. Barry. <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. <laughs> Umbrella. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Gross. Though both you and Barry seemed to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Pretty. He's a real looker. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry. Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. Uh, it's no, Umbrella I don't and Wesker. You. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. You're okay doing it like Shit! three or four times already. Use the strong hand. Get him, Barry. Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together in hell. You want a piece of me? No, oh, he wants a piece of Wesker first. What? Premature. <laughs> Premature. <laughs> If you just pretend to be dead. You viral cultured freak. I don't want to go near you. What'd you call me? You uh, uh, uncultured freak? Don't want that. Double whammy. Enjoyed that reload. It's the only time you're gonna see it. Barry, Barry. <sighs> Actually, that's not true. You'll probably see it in the last one. Uh, you're okay. <sighs> Jill, sorry. 
That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. Impressive. First, let's just get out of here. This room on easier difficulty because there's more ammo here. Where are we looking magnum wise? Okay, 19 bullets should be enough. Wesker's oh. busy. Wesker must have sent it off. Let's hurry. Or Rebecca, or whatever, depending on how you want to look at it. We actually can stick together or anything. Alright, uh, we're gonna go go get Chris and then make our way to the final boss. I think Chris would be like fucking bricking it at this point. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. And you can pop back in there. Uh, there are some items, but I'm pretty sure it's just shotgun rounds. And shells even. To replenish one more heal because we used one in the fight. One last save just in case. I don't think we're gonna lose to Super Tyrant. That he's woken up a bit and he's. Stretched, ready to go. Self 
Come on, come on, hurry! Whatever is in there, I can't pick it up. It's not gonna be any better than full heal. Contact with Brad. No, we can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris, would you <laughs> let me have my moments too? Never. All right, we'll rendezvous at the heliport. Signal rocket. That's not question where exactly Jill put that. Important. Jill. That's the lads. You made it. Why didn't you come up with me? That took all of two seconds. Ninja jump. And Chris is dead. <gasps> that was so much blood. He's not dead, but still. It's hilarious how much blood has gone from him. It's called reloading, Barry. Try it. to hit him. Rocket launcher. Oh, there's no way you're blocking that one, man. That was point blank. <laughs> he can block it, but he, he was fucking running right at me when that happened, so that's not... He wasn't gonna manage... Yeah, he wasn't gonna manage to block that one. I think he has to literally be standing still to block it. Or not. He has to have not have dropped into his running attack. <laughs> Destroy that JPEG. Annihilate the JPEG. And despite Jill's outfit being green the whole time, it's blue in the, in the ending cutscene. I don't know why. I always remembered it being blue, but for whatever reason in the HD remaster, it's green.
don't like how that ending still seems like Chris was the hero. Anyway. Alright, that's Jill's route, and we've already played Chris's route, so that's us for Resident Evil HD. Or Resident Evil Remake, or Resident Evil Remake Remaster, or whatever way you want to call it. Uh, it was a good game. Still a good game. We will be back to it later with, like, some of the secrets and stuff, and we'll, you know, play with some of the funny costumes and infinite rocket launcher and all that stuff, but I gotta unlock all that. <laughs> I gotta unlock all of that first. So it'll be a while before we, go, yeah, before we come back to it. Um... Next up on the Resi series playthrough is Resident Evil Zero, uh, which is a prequel game to this game. We play as Rebecca, um, and we find out what she was doing before uh, Star's Alpha team showed up. It's having her own very large Resident Evil adventure. I am i haven't decided if I'm going to jump straight into that. Um, so at the moment, I'm working through... Resident Evil series and the Final Fantasy series. At the same time, I have taken a break from the Final Fantasy series. Um, and I'm thinking I would like to play something else <laughs> that isn't Final Fantasy and Resident Evil before I go back to either of them. So I'm thinking either we'll do Resident Evil Zero, play something that isn't either Resident Evil or Final Fantasy, then play probably Final Fantasy IV, then Resi 5, then something that isn't either of them. Final Fantasy 5, Resi 6, something that isn't either of them, and we'll just rotate like that. We'll see. I haven't decided yet if that's what we're going to do. Because I don't think Resident Evil Zero is a very long game either. I think it's... If you know what you're doing, it's obviously the Resident Evil games can be incredibly short. Uh, but I don't. I, it's the only Resident Evil I've Jill, never played. You did a fine job. What rank I got. Just as about 65. I think I killed more creatures as Chris. It's possible Chris might actually have to kill more as well. Just from the prototype version, real survival mode unlocked. Which is awful. <laughs> it's an awful mode. Item boxes no longer connected. That's that's the worst part, really. Items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Weapon aiming is now manual, so you don't have auto-aim. You can't just walk into a room, press aim, and see if there are enemies in there. Experience these prototype-only features unavailable in the original well, gameplay. Reason they were not in the main game. Angela has a new costume, we have the closet key. Uh, so I think that is her Resident Evil 3 outfit. I actually don't know what Chris is in. Code Veronica outfit, maybe? Actually, yeah, that is that is what Chris is. In. They both have their BSAA outfit from the beginning, part of the HD remaster. Uh, because Resi Five, I think. Either just come out or had been or was the latest Resident Evil to come out or something like that. Now you can actually pick a difficult. You do a new game without doing that, you end up having to just go, oh I like to climb a mountain or I like a gentle stroll or whatever. And I thought climb a mountain meant hard mode. But I, it doesn't. It just means normal mode. That's why I went for the less strenuous one. Three, has this changed at all? No. Still don't know what these last two are. Last four, or other. I don't know what they are. Like, this is good ending, Chris. Good ending, Jill. So, rescue Jill and Rebecca, rescue Chris and Barry. Then, rescue just Barry, rescue just Rebecca, rescue just Jill, rescue just Chris. Don't rescue anybody. I don't know what these are. Let me just check. Resident Evil HD Gallery. It's gonna give me like the gallery puzzle. That's not what I want. Movies are called. Locking all movies in gallery. That's what I want. Yeah, 
someone's in the same boat as me. I have no idea what the other four movies are. Can anyone help me out? Oh, okay. Okay, so, you know the way Barry and Rebecca help you fight the last tyrant? They can actually die in that fight? That ends up giving you different endings. So you have, for Chris, save Jill and Rebecca. Save Jill, let the hunter kill Rebecca. Or save Jill, let tyrant kill Rebecca. So it's, it's that kind of ones of whether or not you let tyrant kill that person. Um, but also save the person in the MO disc cell, and then don't save the person in the MO disc cell. Rescue whoever it is, Barry or Rebecca, but then they die a tyrant. So that's what those extra ones are. Hmm. Never let them die a tyrant. <laughs> I didn't even know they could do that. Interesting. Anyway, that's it for me, at least for now. Uh... As I said, I don't know if we're going to jump straight into Resident Evil Zero or if I might take a break or I might. I've been trying to think about doing two games at this. Trying to do two games at the same time means I lose a lot of knowledge in between weeks, you know, because I haven't been playing it for a while. So I've been kind of thinking of just doing one game twice a week and still keep my other series that are kind of long ongoing things. I don't know, or I might just start something new and then also have Resident Evil Zero in the background because it's a short enough game that I don't think I would lose a ton of knowledge versus you know, something like Final Fantasy that kind of requires you to spin your head a little bit. Anyway, enough about that. I'm going to head off. I'll be back tomorrow with uh, a quick look at Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, part of my Fully Plays Games a Bit series. That's a uh, kind of very long-running series that I've had on the channel for a good while where we take a look at newly released games for about two to three hours. You know, we have a look at the, the first bit of the game and, you know, see what it's like. Um, that's been going on on the channel for years. It's lots and lots and lots of games coming up in that series. If you want to check out any of them or any of the previous Resident Evils or any of the previous Final Fantasies, possibly, uh, youtube.com slash doomtrain5. That's where the VODs, that's where the archive is, as well as tons of pre-recorded videos that I did before uh, Twitch, before I started doing things live. Find a bunch of pre-recorded stuff over there as well. Right, I'm going to head. Have a good rest of your evening, and hopefully see you tomorrow for Grand Blue Fantasy. Bye-bye.